Hey guys, uh, it's Brian here, and welcome back to our Film Race series. Today, we'll be talking about visual effects. Visual effects are everywhere in filmmaking, and they provide just that subtle touch. And visual effects also can be used for convenience. We use After Effects for a lot of our composites and keying and whatnot. It's just the best tool we found for, especially for myself, moving from directing and cinematography into visual effects. It's just the best way that we work to put things together into a visual effects shot. So on a film race, we'll typically limit visual effects to like several smaller shots that are simpler or a single big shot. If you have practical lighting on set, it's gonna make your visual effect that much more effective. On Sophia, cornfield burning scene, we knew we didn't have the control or the crew to do a controlled burn. So I had Tom stand in the field with a battery operated uh, light panel, LED light. But what that let me do in post was all the interaction with the corn stalks, with our actress Allie's face and, and, and the size of her face and her body. It just made adding the digital flames work that much better. It kind of blurs that line between what's real and what's fake when real light is interacting with a subject. And then just adding a little bit of visual effects to kind of push it over the edge. So when we filmed Free Climb, we had our actress Amanda Schaefer doing live climbing. We had a family there that did rock climbing, was, was able to help us out to be as safe as possible. And we got some really, really, really good shots. But then we have the large portion of the film is her clinging without a rope to the side of a rock. And we knew that, okay, we could actually hang me on the rock, hang her on the rock, paint out her rope, film the whole thing actually high up, but that's kind of a pain and exhausting. So we went to a smaller rock that was just a few feet off the ground and threw up a giant green screen and filmed the rest of the film on close-ups with green screen in the background so we could focus in on what was important at that moment, which was the emotion and not necessarily the logistics of doing a live climb and trying to manage the film through that. So most of my time on that film was actually keying and cleaning up green screen shots. Even though it was easier, it was a lot more effort and a lot more of my time was tied up in just getting those shots ready because I mean, the last thing you want to have is a green screen shot in the final film. That would just be a disaster. One of the highest compliments uh, you can receive as a visual effects artist is when people don't notice the visual effects. We put out our behind the scenes photos for Free Climb in advance of the screening and you could see the giant green screen and the crew managing it and working around that. And I had a filmmaker come up to me and said, hey, I saw you guys shot with the green screen. Did you cut those shots in the film? Because I didn't see them. So it's kind of thankless work in that sense where the best visual effects are not noticed at all, but, but you know they're there. As you grow as a visual effects artist, you'll start to think in visual effects in terms of like, you know, what your elements are. Okay, I'm gonna film this element of the actor, this element is a green screen element, this is a rendering I've created, and these are all gonna come together, and here's how it's gonna line up. So you'll kind of start to work backwards from the final results and kind of how it's layered together and how you're creating that. If you're not inclined to visual effects, it's just not your thing, I would say look for someone to add to your team who can do them. It's getting a heck of a lot easier to find visual effects artists as the tools become more readily available and even more powerful. Chances are, if you reach out to your local film community, you'll probably be able to find somebody. So uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't, click subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the Film Race series. Bye.